What's up, YouTube? This is Thor Wilkins from the Thorniverse, and welcome to a brand new Pokemon ROM hack, Pokemon Shiny Gold Sigma version. It was created by Alex and Zell. I'll leave a link in the description below. This is also off of the best ROM hacks of 2021. Check the description. Please don't forget to leave a like. Please forget... This is like gold and silver and crystal follows some of the same elements but the story's been changed just slightly please don't forget to leave a like subscribe turn on your notifications so you get a notification for me every time i upload it this game was created by alex and zell i'll leave a link in the description this is also off of the list of the top 15 rom hacks of 2021 now i did start got through the intro and let's get right into it. Now, as you can see, if the letters are in red, I made myself a female character, and I named her Thorina. Now, with the rival that is present in the Gold and Silver Crystal game, he's also in this game. I accidentally made a typo error. I wanted to name him Silver, but I ended up naming him Shilver. I don't know where I'm gonna go with that joke. But it has pretty nice graphics so far. I just did a little bit of moving around. I have not left the building yet. Just like Gen 2, but it has Gen 3 graphics. Oh, Thorina, our neighbor Professor Elm was looking for you. He said he wanted you to do something for him. Oh, I almost forgot. Since you're gonna be out for a while, I think you should get this. Here you go. The Rotom phone, not the Pokey Gear. Pokey Beeper. Those items are essential if you want to be a good trainer. By the way, do you remember what those two items do? No. I'll remind it to you then. Use that phone card on any telephone you find. You can only call those phone registers on the card's memory. It can only store up to 10 phone numbers, like the original Pokey Gear. I'm already registered, sweetie. That makes it nine, then. Now about the Pokey Beeper. This little gadget can receive messages from people who knows its number. So pay attention to it, honey. It'll make a strong beep when you get a message. Aren't those little artifacts useful? It does run off of similarities of gold, silver, and crystal. And they do have weather effects in this game and actually looks really nice. Elm's House. So if this plays like original Gold, Silver, and Crystal, I'm going to have a blast because I love the Gen 2 games. Oh, see, watch. Here. So this is the famous L Pokemon Lab. What are you staring at? Ah, right, kick me in my booty. I like the music. Thorina, there you are. I needed to ask you a favor. I have an acquaintance called Mr. Pokemon. He keeps finding weird things and raving about his discoveries. Anyway, I just got an email from him saying that this time it's real. It's intriguing, but we're busy with our research. Could you look into it for us? I'll give you a Pokemon as a partner. There are rare Pokemon that we just found. Go on, pick one. I'm pretty sure they're going to be the Gen 2 starters now. With me? I do love water starters, however, Cyndaquil has been my favorite in Gen 2 tied with Totodile, but I am just a slight bit more fond of Cyndaquil. But speak of the devil, I think that's a great Pokemon. Alright. Give a nickname, nope. Mr. Pokemon lives near Cherry Grove, the next city. It's almost a direct route there. If Pokemon is hurt, you should heal it with this machine. Oh, allow me to register my phone number on your phone card. Call me if something comes up. The old music is kind of giving me chills. Like, this upbeat tempo is actually really nice. Oh, yes. Your mom also gave me your phone, your Pokebeeper number. So I could call you if I ever need anything. Alright. Dorina, I want you to have this for your errand. Got a potion. Now the first thing I always do 
is check my Pokemon. There are only two of us, so we're always busy. I can't run. I'm gonna check the Cyndaquil. Relax nature. Yeah, it has a Gen 3 screen. Like fire red, leaf green. So defense is easy. Speed is hard. It's not bad. His special defense is an E ranking. HP is a D ranking. Okay. That's not bad for attack and defense stats. Wait, what were you holding? Orin Berry. Okay. Yeah, because in the other games it was just a berry. I'm not gonna lie. Like, these tiny graphics here and the Gen 2 feel. Oh, jeez. It's sunny. Pokemon hide in the grass. Who knows when they'll pop out. Sunlight is strong. A level 5 centret this early. I like the music. This is what I always do whenever I find a Pokemon that's the same level as me, or just a little lower. I always use two Leers, and then I attack. So let's see how this would do. Oh, well, your defense is still minus one, because I used two Leers. Uh, let's just do it with minus one. Yeah, a third of its HP. You bastard. Well, my orange berry will still work. There we go. I like the music. It's so... It is like Gen 2, and it's upbeat more. The scratch will knock it out. Scratch. Tackle. There we go. Ah, oh, almost leveled up. Wait, what? Whoa, 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 wait, what? Wait a minute! Is that Zinnia? Wait, 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 wait a minute! I did not know I was gonna get into a fight this early! It's her theme from the Delta episode. Oh my Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. It doesn't matter what I do, she's gonna knock me out. Uh should I risk using a potion? Why are you just keep using Leer? Doesn't matter, I win anyway. I'm faster. Oh, wait, oh. I was about to say, never mind, I'm not faster. I have no idea who that was when it first popped up. And then you should learn Smokescreen. Okay, yeah, I think the level's in... Oh, I went up two levels. I know that's Zinnia. Fuck you two. <gasps> what the fuck? Entei? Right away? Okay, hi. There's something on the floor. Mystic Water. Raiko fled. Wow, Entei, you're a prick. You don't give me anything. Ah, well, Suicune was my f favorite from Gen 2 anyway. Raiko is second. I just ran from the last battle and I take one step and... I wanted to take a break, so I recorded my progress. There wasn't a water patch here in the original gold, silver, and crystal. Here we go. 
Hoot Hoot, Zigzagoon, Sentret, Rattata, Pidgey. There's a lot of Pokemon on this route. And this is going to give me an Orenberry, isn't it? Yep. I'm going to give that back to Cyndaquil. Yoink. I love this music. It's so cool. I'll talk to you later. I want to heal my Pokemon first. Oh, wow. Oh, Wigglytuff. Wiggly. Heal my only Pokemon, please. Cool. We hope to see you again. You're a rookie trainer, aren't you? I can tell. That's okay. Everyone's a rookie at some point. Teach you a few things, okay? Pokemon Center, heal your Pokemon in no time at all. We're lying a lot about them. Here's a Pokemon. They sell balls for catching wild Pokemon. I don't know why I did that. <laughs> Route 30 is out this way. Trainers will be battling the prize Pokemon there. This is the sea, as you can see. Same Pokemon can only found in water. And here? This is my house. Thanks for your company. Let me give you a small gift. Got the town map. Thank you. Your bag becomes more useful as you add items. I wish you luck on your journey. I don't know how I get the running shoes. Wait. I can't inspect that sign? Oh. Pokemon change? I'll be shocked if one did that. Pokemon gain experience to battle and change their form. Yeah, I know. Why wouldn't it let me read that sign, though? Oh, well, we gotta go out to, uh, Route 30 anyway. Oh. This looks so different. It's a lot widespread. Nothing here. I thought that was a berry on that tree, and then this guy will give me a berry. Pokemon-y berries. Well, my Pokemon got a healthier berry eating a berry. Thank you. I think there was supposed to be one on outside, right? Oh, well. Well, let's go see Mr. Pokemon. There's more grass patches on the right. They weren't there before, like even in the originals. Here we go. What's next? Pidgey. I'm going to be catching a lot of Pokemon as soon as I'm done with this errand. Well, I beat that Pidgey and I leveled up. That's not bad. Now, I see a lot of these headbutt trees around here. My Pokemon had headbutt. Nothing here. Okay. Hello, hello. You must be Thorina. Professor Elm said that you would visit. This is what I want Professor Elm to examine. The mystery egg. I know a couple who run a Pokemon daycare themselves. They gave me that egg. I was intrigued, so I sent mail to Professor Elm. For Pokemon Evolution, Professor Elm is the authority. Even Professor Oak here recognizes him. If my assumption is correct, Professor Elm will know it. Aha! So you're Thorina. I'm Oak, a Pokemon researcher. I was just visiting my old friend, Mr. Pokemon. I heard you were running an errand here for Professor Elm, so I decided to wait here. Oh! What's this? A rare Pokemon. Let's see. Hmm. I see. I understand why Professor Elm gave a Pokemon for this errand. To researchers like Professor Elm and I, Pokemon are our friends. He saw that you would treat your Pokemon with love and care. Ah, you seem to be dependable. How would you like to help me out? See? This is the latest version of Pokedex. It automatically records data on Pokemon you've seen or caught. It's a high-tech encyclopedia. This is just running just like the original Gold, Silver, and Crystal. Go meet many kinds of Pokemon and complete their Pokedex. But I've stayed too long. I have to get a Goldenrod from a usual radio show. Lorena, I'm counting on you. You are returning to Professor L? Yeah, your Pokemon should have some rest. And if I remember correctly, I go all the way back to Cherry Grove City. The rival steals a Pokemon and I'm going to have to fight him. I have a Pokebeeper message from Professor Elm. Hello, Therina. It's a disaster. Uh, it's just terrible. 
What should I do? Oh, please get back here now. Yeah. So let's make our way back to Cherry Grove City, and we're going to go back to Professor Elm. But I have a feeling we're going to be stopped by our rival along the way. I knew it. You got a Pokemon at the lab. What a waste. A wimp like you. Don't you get what I'm saying? Well, I too have a good Pokemon. I'll show you what I mean. Shilver. Yeah, me and my typos. Level 5. This is no big deal. Two leers and a couple of tackles will do you in. Okay. I know his didn't have a berry in the original. What? Double team? I'm gonna need a good grass or electric type Pokemon. I know Mareep is a good one. Bellsprout. Oddish. My name's Silver. I'm gonna be the world's greatest Pokemon trainer. Yeah. Now we gotta go back and see Professor Elm. I heard a Pokemon was stolen here. I was just getting some information from Professor Elm. Apparently, it was a young male with long red hair. What? You battled a trainer like that? Did you happen to get his name? Okay, so Silver was his name. Thanks for helping my investigation. Police failing to do their jobs as usual because they never ever found. Thorina, this is terrible. Oh yes, what was Mr. Pokemon's big discovery? This? I is it a Pokemon egg? If it is, it's a great discovery. What? Professor will give you a Pokedex, Thorina? Is, is that true? Th th that's incredible. He's superb at seeing the potential of people as trainers. Wow, Therena, you may have what it takes to become the champion. You seem to be getting on great with Pokemon, too. You should take the Pokemon Gym Challenge. Closest gym is in Violet City. Therena, the route of the championship would be a long one. Before you leave, make sure you talk to your mom. And then this guy gives me Pokeballs. Therena, use these on your Pokedex quest. I think he gave me five. Add your Pokedex catch Pokemon. Let's see. Did you give me only five? Yeah. Timer Ball is actually a good Pokeball, too. So, if I don't call my mom, she'll end up calling me. Or if I don't talk to my mom, she'll end up calling me around Route 30. Where'd that lady go that was here? That's a cute Pokemon. Where did you get it? Oh, so you're leaving on an adventure. I'll help, too. What can I do for you? Uh, yeah. Amulet Coin. Oh! Okay, I get the running shoes from her, so I'm not going to be able to let her hold on to my money. Be careful, Pokemon are your friends. You need to work as a team. <laughs> now go on! Ah! I'm behind you all the way. No, you're not. Do -do 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 Why is there a cut tree by my house? I just noticed that. I've seen you a couple of times. How many Pokemon have you caught? Nope. Oh, fine then. In any way, if you to catch Pokemon, you gotta walk a lot. I know. Just ran from a couple of Pokemon. Cherry Grove City. Route 30. Oh, wait. Wait. I think I could buy Pokeballs now. Uh, yeah, let's buy five more. Four more potions. Two antidotes. Two paralysis heals. That should be enough. Okay, back on to Route 30. I think Poliwag can be found here, but only at nighttime, right? Yeah. Let's just get Youngster Joey. I just lost, so I'm trying to find my Pokemon. Wait, you look weak. Come on, let's battle. Oh, wait a minute, you don't have a Rattata this time? Yeah, 
Hey, you don't have a Rattata. I like the music. They worked so hard on this game to change the Gen 2 music to have like a third gen type musical feel to it. Uh, I don't have any more Pokemon now. Oh! He didn't turn in the original games. That trainer was always one ready to fight. There's a bug catcher there. Haha. <laughs> Route 31. Oh, rock climb areas. Dark cave. If a Pokemon could light it up, I'd explore it. I know I can get a Zubat in there. I'm gonna go see if I can catch a Zubat. Dark Cave. Nope. Geodude. Zubat, here we go. Level 2? <sighs> it's gonna knock it out. Oh, no it didn't! I thought it would knock it out, then this must mean it has a high defense. Do I get experience after catching the Pokemon? Yes, I do. Okay, so I ended up catching a second Zubat. I got out of the cave. Here's why. Bold nature. Attack is hard, defense is easy. Now when I use Crobat, I make him physical and special, but he has infiltrate. Oh, and the second one I caught is a hardy nature, female, decent stats, it's pretty good. I'm gonna keep the female one. Yeah, can I get a berry from here? Persian berry, oh, they're not Chesto berries, or they're not regular berries, okay. I'm not going to battle these trainers as of right now. I know Zubat's only move is Leech Life. Ooh, if I get a Bellsprout, can I trade with that kid? And he wants a Bellsprout, and he gives me Onyx for it. I found a good Pokemon in a dark cave. I'm going to raise it to take on Faulkner. He's the leader of Isla City's gym. I already know that. I came too far out. I better phone home. E.T. phone home. Ha! Ah. Nice. Okay. I'm gonna put the male Zubat away. And we're gonna heal our Pokemon. I don't know how I'm gonna raise the Zubat. I mean, his only move is Leech Life. Yeah. You know what? I know what I can do. When I go on the Sprout... When I go on the Sprout Tower, I'll just have Zubat up front do as much battling damage as he can and just switch out. Bell Sprout, want to trade one for my Badoo? Oh, it's Badoo this time. It's not Onyx. Okay, so... Has a little difference. Inherited his gym from his father. Okay. I call my PG Strawberry. Use the name of your favorite things to eat. Yeah. Just don't think it's a strawberry. <laughs> can I go over here yet? Oh, I guess I can. Route 36. And Audrey is blocking the way to Goldenrod City. He's preventing me from shopping. Something should be done about it. What is this building? Trick house? Oh, hell no. I hate that. Well, hey, I was gonna snap that tree with my straight arm punch, but I couldn't. I'm a failure. 
So there's no grass over here, like in Crystal version, because gold and silver didn't have grass on that route. But I'm not doing the trick house. <laughs> I hate that house. And I know I can't go down here anymore, because there's a guy that blocks the way. Wait up, what's the hurry? Have you gone to the Pokemon gym? Test your Pokemon and yourself there. It's a rite of passage for all trainers. Yeah, there's supposed to be a grass patch here, but there's not. But I'm not complaining about it. Eh, this is the Pokemon school, Pokemon Academy. Yeah. Now I need cut for these trees. So... Sprout Tower. Wait, Pokemon on the first floor? Abra? Okay. Usually they're not supposed to be Pokemon on the first floor in Sprout Tower. Okay, it's not just Bell Sprout. I know it's not very effective. Yeah. I can't... <laughs> I can't do anything. My Cyndaquil only knows Tackle. Oh! Oh, damn! Leech Life's power is 80. And they do have the physical special split. Hmm... No, I'm just gonna run. Yeah, forget it. Alright! Let's see what other Pokemon are in here. Ghastly! Yeah, I can't do anything to these ghosts in here. So you know what that means, uh, I'm actually going to leave here, I'm going to go on to the other routes, blocking my way when I leave, huh? Rattata. Critical hit, tackle, and a knocked out Zubat. Well, there goes the friendship value. Whatever. So let's go heal our Pokemon back up. I'm going to go on to a different route. Train up Cyndaquil. This will only take me a few minutes. Five minutes later. It's actually pretty amazing. And yes, level 12 Ember. I actually did catch some Pokemon off screen. I'm gonna show you the lineup. So I have a Cyndaquil, I have a Ghastly, I have a Pidgey, Zubat. And I just threw a Pokeball at an Abra just for shits and giggles. And I actually ended up catching it. Yeah. So, we're still continuing in this proud tower. But it seems like every time I fought a Pokemon and I would go up a level, so would their Pokemon, like the wild Pokemon. Their levels would increase. Like, I found a level 5 Zigzagoon out on Route 31. And when my Zubat got to level 9, it was the next time I found one, it was level 7. I'll give Peach the amulet coin. Do I have any more Oran Berries? Just one, and I'm gonna give it to Cyndaquil. And if I remember correctly, Cyndaquil evolves at level 14. He's one of the earliest starters in Gen 2 that can evolve, but he doesn't evolve again into Typhlosion until level 36. Nope. We're almost near the top of the Sprout Tower, so I think our training is almost done. Sway like leaves in the wind. I've already fought two of them so far, and everybody in here has a Bell Sprout. So, like, even in the earlier 
Pokemon Gold, Silver, and Crystal, their levels did not go this high. Like, only for the Sages, their levels didn't go this high. And you survived with 1 HP left. No big deal. They do get a lot of experience, though. Now, this time, I'm going to use Pidgey. I do want the extra money. And Pidgey does no Gust. It's level... Nine, it learned Gust. It's now level 10. And again, we're only surviving with just a little bit of HP left. Doesn't matter. And I guess Growth still has only the raises the special attack value. Not attack and special attack. Another Bell Sprout. Now I'm not gonna switch. Actually, this is what I'm going to do. Switch back to Cyndaquil. That way, Pidgey can go up a level, and Cyndaquil can go up a level. And I've been actually having to switch my Pokemon back and forth because the party Pokemon don't get experience after the battle. Yep, they both went up a level. Just like I thought. Oh, I'm weak. Well, I do have Cyndaquil up front still. I'm going to put Ghastly up front, run around for a little bit, and I'm going to get both Abra and Zubat and Ghastly all past level 10. 15 minutes later. Well, it's hard to get Abra to actually level up. His only move is Teleport, and I'm, not, and I'm tired of switching back and forth. So here we go. You are indeed as skilled as a trainer. As promised, here's your HM. But let me say this. You should treat your Pokemon better. The way you battle is far too harsh. Pokemon are not tools of war. Huh. He claims to be the Elder, but he's weak. It stands to reason. I'd never lose to fools who babble about being nice to Pokemon. I only care about strong Pokemon that can win. I really couldn't care less about weak Pokemon. And he used an escape rope. Now we're going to fight this guy, the Elder, and we're going to get our HM. So good of you to come here. Sprout Tower is a place of training. People in Pokemon test their bonds to build a brighter future together. I am the final test. Allow me to check the ties between your Pokemon and you. Alright. I still have Abra up front. God damn it. Yeah, it barely went up a level. I did catch a Poochiena. However, I don't like its nature. Let's throw out Zubat. Crap. I really don't like Supersonic, but it's actually helped me out. Smack yourself? Nope. Never works when I do it. Last Astonish. Come on. There we go. Thank you. Zubat has no more attacking moves after this. He has two leech life left. Abra's level six. There we go. Thank you. Oh, level seven. Never mind. Hoot hoot. Yeah, let's switch. Let's put out Pidgey. This is fun. So many memories back from Gen 2. Well, oh well, never mind. You don't have any ghost type moves. Well, I'm using uh, a special attack, not a physical attack. There we go. Bye bye. Oh, one HP left. Okay. Hmm. I know you have one more. Is he in a gym leader battle? It's 
it's very ironic too because I don't have a Pokemon with any moves that is super effective against the first gym. I mean, I would have had that Onyx if that kid would have given me an Onyx, but I don't. Cedar. I'll just let Pidgey do this. And then he uses self-destruct. <laughs> Sorry, man. Nice Pokemon and all. Not worth it. There we go. Battle is won. Battle is complete. Please give me my HM. Ah, excellent! I didn't even use Cyndaquil. Oh no, Pidgey has the amulet coin. You and your Pokemon should have no problem using this move. Take this Flash HM. Flash illuminates even the darkest of all places. You need the badge from Violet City. What the heck? I need a new remote. Let's use an escape rope. Whee! Back in Violet City, gonna go hear our Pokemon, and we're gonna go take on the gym. Okay, I really did not read what that guy just said. But apparently he said he found something in the runes of the Alfs? And I got a glimpse of it. It says Mega Stone A, an evolutionary rare stone that allows certain Pokemon to reach their final form. I don't know what that means. And I found a lucky egg in here at the top right of the school, and I gave it to Abra. Okay. Wait, I already healed my Pokemon. God damn it. And now we're inside the Pokemon Gym. Violet City Leader Faulkner, winning trainers, Zinnia, of course. That was her name. Bruh. Speak of the devil. She's right in front of me. You. Let's battle. Why? Why battle? I just fucking got here. Wishmer, and she still has that big on, right? Uh, let's put Pidgey out. I like the mixture of the theme. Oh, fuck you. My microphone was off the entire time, even during the battle with Zinnia. Oh my god. I did beat her. And now I'm battling Faulkner. I am such an idiot, I apologize. Pidgey versus Pidgey. Ooh, I wonder if Mudslap is still in this game, or is it Roost? The music is still more... still It's, it's upbeat more, and I hear more bass being added. Yeah, there's extra bass in that. Like, this music is so fucking cool. Oh, I heard that switch up. Oh, you have three Pokemon! Pidgey and Pidgeotto are supposed to be your only ones. Well, my Pidgey knows Quick Attack. Can my Pidgey take out your Pidgeotto? Oh, nope. Oh, I survived. 
Uh, I'm gonna use a potion. I'm gonna use a potion. I took the lucky egg away uh, from Abra. Are you gonna use a potion? Yes, okay. Oh, that time it did eight damage. Huh. Okay, that's weird. Quick attack. Two potions? Come on, man. Yeah, hear that up uh, hear that rise in the music? That was fucking cool. This is gonna come down to the wire. Yes! I got quick attack. Level 14. Cyndaquil should be level 14 right about now, too. Knockdown! Ooh, I have to bring in Cyndaquil for this one. Level 14. Okay, let's use a... And I said I didn't need any awakenings. I bet I don't have any, do I? Nope. Damn it. Uproar again? Jesus Christ! I woke Stupid. up during the uproar. Oh, damn it. That ain't gonna be enough, so you know what I'm gonna do? Ghastly, you come out now. Yep, uproar doesn't affect me. Your hypnosis hit first. I'm gonna be really stupid if I call this. He better not have Dream Eater. Okay, I'm still asleep. Oh, normal types now can hit me because he used foresight. God damn it. Damn! I think this is a loss. I'm not going to survive that. Oh, I did! Oh, come on! How do you fucking miss? Wait, that was supersonic. What is that? Pa accuracy of 50? Oh my god, come on. Yeah, I, I think I lost this battle. It was my mistake. I used smoke screen. What is that accuracy for hypnosis? It's five higher than supersonic. But his hypnosis has hit every single time. Okay, he's just gonna keep going on an uproar rampage, huh? Come on. Burn it. Fuck. I lost this battle. I lost. There's no way I, there's no way I won this. I was not expecting him to have a fucking knocked out. That just means I need a little bit more training. Yeah. 
I'm going to leave this episode here. I was this close. So close. I did not expect him to have a third Pokemon, which is knocked out. So this game has changed up a lot, especially with the addition of Zinnia right before the gym and all of those different Pokemon that I found in the Sprout Tower. If you guys want me to continue the series, please don't forget to give it a like. Please don't forget to subscribe, turn on your notifications. Let me know what other Pokemon ROM hack you want me to play. I'll leave a link in the description below for the top 15 best Pokemon ROM hacks of 2021, and I'll also leave a link in the description for this game. This is Thor Wilkins from Thorniverse, and as always, I'll see all of you in my next video.